everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to give you a basic overview of data collection for Adobe Analytics, or in other words, how does the data from your site get into Adobe Analytics? So step one, obviously the visitor arrives at the digital experience. So that's your website on their laptop, on a mobile device, on a tablet or whatever. Could even be a mobile app. This can also be done server side, but let's keep it basic for now. And let's just say you have a website and people come there on their browser um, on one of their devices. So Adobe Launch is deployed by you on the website and we'll get into how to do that in other videos, but this can be something very basic all the way up to something very complicated. So depending on your needs, uh, Adobe Launch is there for you to be able to deploy the code for analytics. So this code is deployed there. And so when the page comes up, this code runs. And what does it do? Well, it kind of wraps up everything in a nice bow, meaning it grabs some information about the browser and the environment and some of the custom things that you might be putting into the code. And it wraps it up in a nice package and it sends it to Adobe in the form of an image request and lands at Adobe and it processes this image request, okay? And it, and it sends back an image, it's an image request. So it sends back this little transparent pixel. So completely unknown and transparent to the end user. Uh, but on the Adobe side, it has received all this data that has been wrapped up and sent to Adobe. So this data is processed and saved into the designated report suite, which kind of think of that as a big database with a name on it, and we'll talk more about that in another video, but saved at Adobe um, on our servers so that we can then take that and push that into the report. So we do a lot of processing on that, relating of data points to other data points and those kinds of things, putting them into the reports so you can then build those reports and do the analysis that you need to do. So this can be made you know, more extensible. Again, it can be done for mobile apps. It can be done from the server side. It can be done uh, you know, for video. It can be done for audio. It can be done for all of your digital experiences. But in this case, just to kind of keep it simple, this is the basic idea of how data gets from your site or from your experience into Adobe Analytics. Hope that's helpful.